Alright. I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, I've been wanting to really play this game. My old computer couldn't do it. Now I can. DCS World. Uh, I'm gonna be flying a Huey. Going through the training for the first time. I've never touched it. I don't know what the... I... We'll see how this goes. Let's start it up. I better make sure I do my last little volume adjustment, I guess, before I... Eh. Meh. <laughs> Hopefully the volume will work out. Alright, uh... Let me quickly just go ahead. Turn that back up. Oh, I wasn't prepared! Seen. And scene, here we go. Oh no, not explorer. Go away. No, go, go away. Oh. There we go. Alright. Never actually played this. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, it goes good. I hope. Please. For the love of God. UH1H. Cold start. And jeez, oh, load. What? There we go. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to get the steam crap to go away too. Okay. Welcome to the cold start lesson, cadet. Today we will practice starting up the Huey and getting her ready for flight. Press the spacebar key when you are ready to begin. Before we begin, press right control and C to close the cockpit doors. Okay. First, we need to provide electrical power to the aircraft. This can be done with the help of the ground crew, but we'll use onboard power. Okay. Take a look on the overhead console. On the AC power control panel, set the AC phase voltmeter selector switch to AC, and the inverter switch, labeled INVTR, to off. Ah, hey. My stick is already set. I don't have to do anything. Okay. Um, so can I zoom? Oh, yeah. All right, so just to now on the DC power control panel, set the main generator switch to on and the DC voltmeter selector switch to ESS bus, essential bus. Okay. Next, set the starter generator switch to start and turn on the battery. Don't worry, that's just the low RPM warning blaring, which is normal right now. Press the low RPM audio switch to acknowledge the warning. This is annoying! Let's also test the caution lights panel to make sure all of the lights are operative. Set and hold the test switch in the down position. Make sure all of the caution lights are on. Yeah, that's good. Next, on the engine control panel, Set the main fuel switch to on and the governor switch to auto. Sorry, All other auto. fuel switches should be off. On the miscellaneous control panel, set the hydraulic control switch to on, the force trim switch to on, and make sure the chip detector system is set to both. Before starting the engine, we need to make sure the throttle is set to idle. The throttle is located on the grip of the collective control handle next to the pilot's left leg. The throttle is twisted left using the page up key to increase it, and right using the page down key to decrease it. Press and hold the page down key for a few seconds to make sure the throttle twist grip on the collective control handle is set to the idle stop position. Also, make sure the stick and pedals are in the neutral position and the collective is fully lowered. 
You can check the position of the controls on the controls indicator All by right. pressing right control and enter. Alright, we're good. Alright, we're good. To start the engine, you will need to press and hold the home key on the keyboard to pull the engine start trigger located beneath the switch box of the collective control handle. As the engine spools up, you will need to monitor the engine instruments and the clock. The engine start button needs to be held down until the gas producer speed reaches 40% or 40 seconds have passed on the clock, whichever comes first. You should also see the rotor begin to turn around 15% of gas producer RPM. If this does not happen, abort the start sequence. Whenever you're ready, begin the ignition sequence by pressing and holding the home key on the keyboard to pull the engine start trigger. Don't forget to note the time, seconds. the helicopter will toss you around quite a bit as the rotor spins up. Let me know if you need to use the bag. Step 40. Pass. <laughs> use the bag. Oh my god, we started it. That is loud! That was loud. Okay, we're idling normally. Let's set up the avionics. Back on the overhead console, turn on the inverter by setting it to main on. We'll now power up the radio systems. Set the AM APX 72 transponder to standby, STPY, by right clicking once over the master switch. Turn on the AM ARM 82 VHF NAVCOM radio by right clicking on the power switch box. Turn on the AM ARC 134 radio. Not too bad. Radio Not too shabby. By right clicking on the power switch box. Turn on the AM ARC 51BX UHF radio by setting the function switch to T off. Transmit receive. Transmit Set the interphone selector switch to 3 to set the VHF on radio for transmission. This will allow you to communicate with ATC. To communicate with women, you will usually transmit over the UHF radio, which is position 2 on this switch. Turn on the AM ARC 131 VHF FM radio by setting the mode switch to T-Ball transmit receiver. Okay. Turn on the AM ARN 83 ADF receiver by setting the mode switch to ADF. To complete the ADF setup, set the starter generator to scan by Hold on, buddy. Let's now run up the engine to the power. Press the page up and repeat the loop and run the engine to the power. Continue to slowly add the power until the power of the engine is twisted all the way to the power. Watch the engine up and stabilize at 6600 and load it up. Okay. This game is loud. I don't know if it's coming through that way on this recording or not. I'm turning it down right now a little bit. Resuming. Let's see how it goes afterwards. We're flying.
probably better to be doing this for a No! Don't, don't do something like that. Not bad, not bad. Yes. Oh god. Probably got a weird look in my face when I'm in the hospital. The sound, oh man, the sound is fucking beautiful on this one. Loud. Beautiful. The rotor fell off. The rotor fell off. It fell the fuck off. <laughs> oh, epic fail. Oh, God. Well, that was the first episode of DCS. Um, that was that was an interesting one. That that was just the rotor just fell off. Is, is that even possible for it to just go gone? But anyway, maybe next time we'll do the pickup. Uh, this is a, a video demonstration. Takeoff demonstration. Pick up a takeoff. Solo practice. There we go. Uh, and then the landing solo practice weapon. I'll watch the videos off so you don't have to watch the videos and we'll just do the pick off uh, and then I'll do both I'll do both next time that's it for now hopefully the volume's good if not I'll fix it for the next one hopefully see y'all later <laughs>